business in the front, party in the back. For the better part of the last year, that's been the motto of Yorkton MLA, Greg Ottenbright, his hair serving as a little bit of a throwback. I always had really long hair for the most part growing up, you know, years back racing, motocross and bikes and stuff. The difference between then and now, he's rocking the mullet at the Saskatchewan legislature. But there is a reason behind the radical hair called Close Cuts for Cancer. A head shaving event started 21 years ago after Ottenbright's son Braden was diagnosed with cancer. He was going to be going bald, so my husband Greg decided that he would shave his head, and then uh, Braden's uncle Grant decided that he would shave his head, and then word got out. Braden lost his battle with cancer in 2000, and Braden Ottenbright's Close Cuts for Cancer is held on the last Saturday of every May in his memory. People sign up to raise money and shave their heads in support. The first close cuts was why Ottenbright ditched the long hair initially. But it's around this time last year the story of the mullet reopened, as Ottenbright was fighting his own battle with cancer. So while he was in ICU, he said, you know what, I haven't had long hair for a long time. I think I'm going to grow my mullet out. I heard her say, you should grow a mullet. She says she never did say that. I thought, well, you know what, he's been through an awful lot. How bad can a mullet be? Well, it's a little different than it was way back then. Since then, the mullet has been growing, slowly at first, but by November it had started to take shape. In the last few months, it really started to gain some attention, and it still has a few weeks left to go. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's uh, got a little bit of attention. It's allowed me to, to talk a little bit more about close cuts this year. This year's Close Cuts has now officially kicked off, raising money for blood testing equipment at the Yorkton Regional Health Centre, meaning the mullet's days are numbered. I'm looking forward to getting it shaved off on the 26th. Cole Davenport, CTV News, Yorkton.